when they hate it, didn't think we make it How they break they neck just to look at me Remember when I called you and you didn't fall through Now you hit yourself, you can look at me, look at me What's good with y'all? All right, so what are we getting into today? Today, we're about to be heading over to Sacramento. This is what we've been doing for like the last month. So we're heading to Sacramento again. This time, we're gonna be going to Saks Fee Shop and keep, hey, 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 hey. Thank you, thank you. So we're gonna be going to Sacramento today. Um, we're heading to Saks Fee Shop. I'm over this whole ordeal with the C5. This thing has like been a nightmare uh, between uh, dealing with all this stuff. So today Brett's gonna be coming out. He's gonna be towing the C5 over to the machine shop and he's gonna have the machine shop measure out these push rod links um, on there on the spot. That way we can get a custom set of push rod links ordered. If not, I'm gonna pull the trigger and just have them swap out those, uh, those comp short travel lifters put some Johnsons in, uh, the pr appropriate push rod length, that way we can get this thing done. This thing has been like, it's just been a nightmare fighting push rod lengths with this thing. So um, we're already at a point now, we're just like, we're gonna take the whole car to, to, uh, to the machine shop, let them deal with it, and then Brett's gonna be uh, bringing it back. But yeah, that's what we're doing. Today, C5 is leaving, but I'm, I'm probably about to drop off the C6. Uh, I kind of hinted to, to Ray because I was like, hey, man, I'm about to bring the C6 out there because, you know, the fan isn't working right now. I was like, but, you know, if I'm on the freeway, it's fine. But uh, little does he know, I'm dropping the C6 off. If my C5 is leaving, I'm dropping the C6, uh, C6 off and I'm about to have them throw the supercharger set up on the C6. That way I can have something fucking done this week. My, oh, fly. my Fox body is at paint. Um, we're still waiting on the, the SE uh, motor. We ended up having a new block and all that. Like I'll give y'all an update on there later, but we have been making progress towards the Jay-Z. Um, the 300ZX, the ECU's on crack. Uh, the truck is going smooth, but you know we're still waiting for Cody to finish that up. So right now it's just like, just kind of dookie. We went from having nine cars running to now we got like nothing running basically, essentially. 350Z still needs a tune. Um, 300ZX needs the ECU check. C6 fan relay is on crack. For some reason, the FD fan relay took a crap on me, so the FD fans aren't working. Literally, like fan issue, fan issue, ECU, then push rods. Like everything is just like, whoa, all at once. So we got to turn this around. Uh, we got to get something that's going to be fun. I'm ready to take a break on the C5. Um, so yeah, I'm just about to jump straight into the C6 build. Uh, have them throw the supercharger on. I need to get something done. We need some productivity here And I'm tired of just making videos going back and forth with this in C5 um, Yeah, that's it's getting super old. I need something done so I can get back to you know racing uh, Doing ride-alongs. I need something that's gonna be productive and fun and building the C5 is costing me so much money And it's not fun. So we're gonna supercharge something else and hopefully the supercharged 350z and we'll have the supercharged C6 uh, properly running and good by this weekend. How you feeling? Since you went out here and you wanted to do demolition derby with the curb and tear up the van, you good? You feel sore today? No. You all right? All right. How'd you hit the curb? Cut short. Were you at a dead stop or were you already rolling? Dead stop. And you just rolled over it slow? No, the red light had changed to green and I went to go. And you just ran over the curb? Mm hmm You call your insurance company? Mm-hmm. You put in your claim? Mm-hmm. When they gonna come pick up the car? I don't know. You better figure that out before they give you this fat bill. They give me a fat bill, my baby will take care of it. Oh <laughs> No, no, no. That's what you got insurance for. I'm poor. I'm poorer than you. I'm poor er. <laughs> $200 into a car that don't run right now. Alright, so we gotta jump this thing. It's freaking dead as hell. So we're gonna be jumping the C6. So yeah, man, I, I literally keep losing my train of thought. I'm like, so in like go mode right now because I'm just like all over the place. I'm like, 
Like, what's the words? I'm like, discouraged? I'm not sad. I'm gonna say more so like, discouraged, but also motivated to finish something. It's like, I'm at a point where it's like, I gotta finish something. So, here we are with the, uh, the C6. Uh, again, like I was saying, the fan, the fan controller, fan relay, some decided to take a shit, so. Uh, I've, I've been waiting to fix this thing just because we already had the supercharger and the whole the whole thing on the way So now that everything is here. There's literally no reason that I need to really hold up on I'm waiting for the the uh, Supercharger radiator setup to get here, which is just a, basically essentially a short DeWitt's um, a, a short DeWitt's radiator Especially made for the supercharger that way you don't have to to space out the radiator uh, support and the front cradle usually when you supercharge them you have to space it down an inch and i did that on my c5 and i don't really like it so on this setup i'd rather keep my ground clearance and just run the uh, the shorter radiator and instead of running the dual fans i'm running the small 17 inch fan supposedly uh dewitt said that the 17 inch fan flows a lot more and works a lot better than the dual fans so we'll see how that all works out but yeah today we're we're dropping this off on Ray. Ray doesn't really know we're dropping it off, but we're definitely dropping this off on Ray. Let's see a spider webs right there. I don't wanna put my finger in there and fuck around and be a black widow or something waiting for me. All right, we're good, we're good. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on, baby. It's been a long time. All right, let's get all this stuff off before this thing starts getting hot and head to the freeway. That's what we need to do. We need to get on the freeway and get some air flowing into this thing. All right, so we are on the road on our way to Saxby shop right now. Luckily, there's no traffic. Uh, car is about 2.03 right now. It is kind of hot outside, so on the freeway, car runs fine, but hopefully we don't run any traffic on the way there. GPS says there shouldn't be any. So if that's all good, we should be, we should be at Saxby shop in the next 35 40 minutes or so. I'm just getting here to Saks Bee Shop. We got the sea fizzle right here. Huh? Well, come help push then, fool. Gotta move this so we can get the C C6 in here. God. Oh boy. This leather seat been sitting here in the sun. Man. Ooh. God, hold oh, this triple disc. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Just think happy, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts. All right, so we're just waiting for Brad to get here. All this stuff's gonna have to be coming back off. And the machine shop's gonna be rechecking and getting the custom push rod links that we need. Or I'm just gonna tell them to swap the Johnson lifters on like we've been talking about doing. I'm like so over these short uh, short travel comp lifters that, bruh, I'm like up to here with bullshit. Here, y'all. Here. <laughs> well, anywho. Here is the supercharger kit for the C6. Everything right here. Uh, up in the spot like a spotlight. Hit the block like a hammer chasing knots. Like it'll disappear if I don't get my pockets right. You ain't gotta be a fan, my AC is nice. Let me do what I be doing, black. I ain't playing, I be on it. I get to it, black. All right, this is all empty. So we no longer need this. Here's all the parts for the supercharger intercooler right here big John then 
This is all the bracketry setup, tensioner, intercooler piping, couplers, new spark plugs right there. Uh, piping that goes up top for the throttle body. Intake off the supercharger. It's full Ray over here listening to baby making music. <laughs> Who you trying to smash? You and your feels, huh? <laughs> So here's the head unit right here for the C6. This is a T trim, so it is slightly bigger than the one that's on the C5. And instead of it having the heel cut gears, I actually got this one with the straight cut gears like the F1X and the uh, YSI. F1X and YSI have straight cut gears. Vortec also offers their heritage package, which comes with the straight cut gears. That way you get the louder win, 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 win. So yeah, you can special order a V3 with heritage cut gears if you're asking for it. So this should be uh, a bit louder than what the C5 sounds like. Should have you that that old classic. Win, 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 win. And I don't think I've shown you guys, but the full fuel system is here also. Shit, where's the trunk at? Is it this one? So here's the other parts that came. This is gonna be the Innovate Boost and uh, Boost and FR gauge single gauge pillar or gauge pod and then a full racetronics uh, fuel system the DSX DSSX flex fuel setup everything here oh, throw this stuff in here freaking oh my, my shift knobs and stuff gotta take these back Ooh, look at that and this one the big grande dad hamster <laughs> Brett just called me just now said that he's out uh, out front tell him to come around in the back and then we're gonna try to load this thing up this car is hella wide so hopefully it fits on this trailer that he went and rented make sure I let up in here to hit Nope, we're good. Wash this bitch down. So we got Brett's here. 500 time driving out. <laughs> so for the people that keep saying, I look like sex speed shop's gonna let you down. Ray, would you tell them? This has nothing to do with you guys, right? Nothing at all. Nothing. Because they're saying like, oh, sex speed shop's gonna let you down. Don't think like they're gonna figure it out. It's not our fault. We did everything we could. We didn't build the motor, so for letting whoever built the motor fix their issues. Not taking responsibility for it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, like I said, I've been saying it, I don't know how many times, this ain't an issue with Saxby Shop. The whole thing was bring a complete long box, oil pan to our uh, valve covers to oil pan, front cover to rear cover sealed up. That was the original thing, and they've already went above and beyond all that and versus pulling the motor out and having their machine shop do everything it's like might as well let the machine shop that built it take responsibility and fucking fix this because i ain't trying to pay ray to pull the motor out then pay the machine shop and then pay him to put it back in and do all that that's out i don't mind i know you don't mind i mind a lot <laughs> i mind a lot <laughs> so yeah we're dropping the c6 off for ray can deal with this this should go a lot smoother if this if this messes up i'm like bro you did the head cam package on here bro it's been solved since i did head cam yeah this car has been fine no issues out of this one but this shit right here nigga this shit man it's like that you know how you got hella kids and it's always that one kid that does drugs and graduate that's the one that's that's the one it's the alcoholic that does heroin and shit like that it's that car problem child yeah, let's let me check this out. You did this one too? Yeah. Hell loud. Shit loud. How much was he making? Uh, what bully? 
Why is it so high? The pump we put in it. Man, it's gonna blow the little seal out. So a thousand pieces of wood later, finally got this shit up here. Dude, you popped out that thing like a like a turtle. <laughs> Think your execution was bad. You can leave the window down. Ain't nothing gonna fly out. I mean, she's up there. It's gonna get to where she gotta get to. <laughs> Sketch, but if it works, it works. So I just got done showing Brett the, the LSA setup. For those that don't know, Brett did build this motor right here. You built this, what, fuck, a couple years ago? Yeah. Yep, still running. That's awesome, man. <laughs> <laughs> Push rod links are correct. <laughs> Yeah, this thing's been solid. No issues out of that. Yeah, real nice color. Yeah, Brad just dropped me off at the house, so I guess he said he's gonna be taking that thing over to the machine shop, and they're gonna be figuring out these push rod links, getting the custom links that we need. And if that don't fix it, then we're doing the Johnsons, right? Yeah. Fuck it. Sounds good to me. Set up. I just want to talk to the press about it. I feel like, it. Like, I know the story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going too crazy. These niggas too shady. Speed limit 65. I'm about to do 80. Fuck the niggas say no. I'm going to come up. You can go to speed, but it's better.